Tales from Topographic Oceans is a Yes album. It was released on December 7th, 1973 and January 9th, 1974 in the United States. And it was produced by Yes and Eddie Elford. And it has four songs. It's two albums or two discs or two vinyls. And it's about 81 minutes long. This was driven by John Anderson and Steve Howe when they were on tour in Japan. And the four Shastric scriptures. Paramansa Yogananda's autobiography of a yogi was the source. This all goes back to a conversation that John Anderson had at a King Crimson wedding. Basically, Bill Bruford's wedding after he left Yes and joined King Crimson. Um, Jamie Muir, who was one of the King Crimson drummers, was telling John Anderson about the book. And John Anderson got the book and got lost in a footnote about those four Shastric scriptures. And... If you want to go read, you could go find the book and read about it, about the four Shastras and the connections to these songs, and there's plenty of places to go do that. Um, it's not too meaningful to me, but uh, it is an awesome album. Uh, the band is John Anderson on vocals, Rick Wakeman on synths and keyboards, Steve Howe on acoustic electric steel guitars, Chris Squires on bass and vocals, and Alan White is the drummer. And this is the first album for yes for Ellen White. Uh, Roger Dean did this awesome artwork, which um, I like the night sky with the stars and um, the sculpture. But the best part is on the back. On the back, you got these fish swimming around like it's the ocean. So it's very uh, it's very deceiving. On the, on the inside, um, you know, I think John probably wrote this, but. You can read about how John and Steve became inspired to write this album and to drive it. And uh, what's interesting about it is all the songs are credited. Um, where does it say it? It says, words by Anderson Howe, music by Yes. And that's a little different because I, uh, I have the Yes Complete book, which has all the songs in it. And in the... On each of these songs, it says lyrics by John and Steve, and then music by John, Steve, Rick, Squire, and Bruford. It lists them by name. But what I did for this review is I looked at all the measures and all the keys and all the, you know, all the time signatures, and I used that to help write this review. Um, and I listened to the album as I did it, and uh, it was a pretty enjoyable experience. Um, the discs look like this. So they've got, um, they don't have that red and green or orange and green label that the other Yes albums do. From This is a 94 Atlantic um, remaster. And it's just pretty cool. It's a cool set and a cool release. And uh, let's get right into it. The first track is The Revealing Science of God, Dance of the Dawn. It's 20 minutes and 27 seconds long. These are four epic songs. And uh, I think they picked the right track to be the opening track for the album. The Revealing Signs of God is the best. It makes sense to be the first one. The intro is in the key of E major, and the verse is in C major, or the verses. Um, it's moderate tempo in the beginning, and then moderately with a slower beat during the verses. So it slows down. And there's all kinds of time signatures in this. 6, 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, 9, 8, 5, 8, 4, 4 time. And the way I looked at it, I divided it into six different parts. So sometimes when I say part, I mean verse or chorus. But in this, like, you could really rearrange this into six different parts of the song with different verses and that sort of thing. So part one, uh, I've heard John refer to it as the rap. <laughs> and the intro is uh, four verses all in E major, mostly in 6-8 time, but all those other time signatures come into play. The first the first verse in the intro is Dawn of Light lying between the silent. It's mainly John singing. I'm guessing that's a guitar. It's 17 bars. The second verse starts Dawn of Thought, and that's 15 bars. And the third verse is Dawn of Power, that's 12 bars. And the fourth verse is Dawn of Light, it's 9 bars. And it just gradually builds in intensity. And that's the first part of the song, is this rap. The big drums kick in, and the main melody of the song for 12 bars, uh, 
da 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 That's how you know you're transitioning into part two. Part two is starting with the fifth verse of the song, the key changes to C major. And it's the intro is talk to the sunlight caller, soft summer mover distance mine. It's 10 bars in E major and 4-4 time. And then it goes into the verse, called out a tune, but I never saw the face. Heard, but da-da-da-da-da. It's six bars plus three bars of music to the next verse changes to C major in 4-4 four, four time. Um, and then the chorus is 13 bars plus five extra bars. What happened to this song, which we knew so well? Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. It's, uh, it's, and then it's back to the key of E major. Part three of the song, this is the jam part of the song. It's a, a, like a hard rock moderate, moderate beat. Uh, still in E major, and it really does. It do 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 do. That's the intro or the uh the bridge, if you want to call it. Starlight movement. Do 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 do. It's twenty bars, mostly repeating five four and four four time. And this part starts from six minutes and fifty two seconds to seven minutes and forty five seconds, accompanied by this big blistering guitar part by Steve Howe. There's an interlude, the ta da ta da 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 it go it's seven forty five to nine minutes. And then there's an instrumental break from nine minutes to nine forty four seconds. It sounds like uh I'm my best guess is it's a Mellotron and guitar in that instrumental break that starts at nine minutes. Then we segue into verse ten, which key changes back to D major. They move fast, they tell me, but I just can't believe I feel it. That's 12 bars, mostly in 4-4 four, four time. And then there's a chorus, getting over overhanging trees. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. That's 10 bars. It runs from 10 minutes and 14 seconds to 10 minutes and 45 seconds. The 11th verse of the song is mostly in 3-4 time and 2-4 time. And it's, that's the part that starts out, they move fast, they tell me. It's a 12-bar verse. And then there's a bridge, again, bouncing back from 5-4 to 4-4. Most of these, like, they sort of repeat themselves, but the count of the measures or bars is out. It's always a little bit different, but similar because they've changed things. Uh, let's see, where were we? Getting over overhanging trees, 10-14 to 10-45, and then um, that verse and then the bridge. The bridge is 5-4 four, and 4-4 four, four, like the first time they do it at the beginning of part 3. It's still in E major. Skyline teacher, warland seeker. It's similar to that intro part. But this bridge is at 1108 to 1150. And that's in this 1994 version. If you have the Rhino versions, the times are going to be all different because they extended the very introduction to the song. So... Um, if you're not listening to the 94 or maybe the original version, you might have a different time counter. Uh, yeah. And this time in the bridge, the piano is the lead. It's that, it really sounds like close to the edge to me when I hear it. Da -da 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 And, you know, Skyline Teacher. That's the second bridge in part three. Then there's the instrumental break where John is singing, rah, rah. And it runs from 11.50 to 12.15, so about 25 seconds. And then lastly in part three, there's the guitar solo. It's a fairly tame one for a Steve Howe solo spot, but that solo runs from 12.15 to 12.57. That's the end of the third part of the song. The fourth part of the song, there's a long intro from 12.57. Um, well, let's see, it... The intro runs from 12.57 to 13.58. And then we go into the 12th verse of the song. There's a key change to A major, and it's quite noticeable. And through the, uh, this is where John sings, and through the rhythm of moving slowly. And really the tempo slows down here too. That's 12 bars, and it runs from 13.58 to 15.17. Okay, so a couple of minutes. And then there's a, another interlude La 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 from fifteen seventeen to sixteen forty and then right into a, a really heavy jam. The jam runs from sixteen fifty four to seventeen twenty nine. And this is that 
Uh, this is that really excellent Moog solo. It's a great... It's a great part of this. It might be the best part of the song. I don't know, but uh, in live versions, it doesn't come off as powerful as what you hear on this. Because Rick Wakeman's playing this. You know, it, it's just really cool. That's the end of part four. Part five, uh, we have an introduction. We go from, uh, I believe, A major down to... Uh, D major. They move fast. They tell me it's similar to the verse 10, but it's 12 bars. And then the chorus is getting over overhanging trees. That's an E major in 4 4 time. Same as the chorus in part 3. It's almost the same. They pull it back in. And then the last part of part 5 is the bridge, which is 6 bars in E major in 3 4 and 2 4 time. We move fast. We tell, uh, we move fast. We need love. A part we offer is our only freedom. Okay, and then that's the end of part five. The final part of the song is part six, is what I'll call it here, just for simplicity. This is how the song ends. The chorus is, what happened to this song we once knew so well? It's in 4-4 four, four time and 12 bars. And then it goes into the outro, which is similar to the rap at the beginning of the, the introduction of the part one. Uh, past, past, present movers moments will possess the future. Da 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 da. It's twenty four bars mostly in four eight time, but there's some five eight nine eight measures, and that part of the song runs from nineteen forty four to twenty twenty six, and that's the revealing science of God. Dance to the dawn. <sighs> the intro is verse 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 verse. The second part of the song is a new intro verse verse chorus verse verse chorus the third part of the song is that intro bridge the interlude break verse chorus verse bridge break guitar solo the fourth part is uh verse verse interlude that awesome synth solo by rick wakeman and then the fifth part is the intro chorus bridge and then lastly you have one final chorus of the song the what happened and then lastly, the outro. And that's the revealing science of God. Track two is the remembering, hi, the memory. It's 20 minutes and 38 seconds on Tales from Topographic Oceans. By the way, look at how cool that is. Just look at that. Track two, it, it might be the best song on the album. Um, and I've broken it down into three parts. The keys are D major, C major, G major, and A major, and it's moderately slow tempo. Most of the song is in 4-4 four, four time, but not all of it, and it is it is a fairly slow tempo. The intro is C major, and it's all F and G chords, if according to the book. By the way, this book, I, you know, I'd swear my life by it. Um, but maybe it's not perfectly accurate, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It's probably like 99% accurate. The intro is in F and G chords. As the silence of seasons on, we relive a bridge sails afloat. As to call light, the soul shall sing. It's a cool intro. It's 22 bars, and it's four bars before that at the very beginning, the... The verse is 20 bars in 3, 8, and 4, 8 time. Hi, the memory carry on. Whole, the moment starts to linger. I guess I've been singing that wrong all these years, but uh, it's a minute 35 and 2 minutes and 10 seconds. But it's, it is interesting. I did read a lot of the lyrics and look in that book. Look at how the lyrics are written in here. I mean, look at... Four songs, and it's, I mean, it's pretty intense lyrics um, just to go through. Verse, uh, after that verse is like a second introduction, which is similar to the first introduction. And so when I say introduction, they're just like restarting the song almost. The second intro is, as we shall speak to differ, it's 13 bars, D minor and E minor repeating. And for lack of a better description, I'll just keep referring to that part as the intro the verse comes back the second verse is 
Ours the story shall we carry on and search for the forest of the sun. It's 14 bars in 4-4 four, four time, but also in 2-4, 12-8, and it's in G major. So there's, uh, they're already switching keys quite a bit. And it's, it's not too noticeable because that those introductions are C major, but they're using F and G chords. And this is in G major, so it's, you know, it's not too abrupt. But, you, you know, you may notice it. Then the, uh, the next phase is intro three and intro four. And intro three is in the days of summer so long. 14 bars, G major, and it runs from 328 to 509, so about a minute and a half. And it's this long, sweeping keyboard ending after that. And then it comes back to the intro four. Softer messages bring light to a truth long forgotten on as we shall speak to differ. It's 12 bars and chords that are... Um, E minor and D minor, just repeating back and forth. And that runs for about 31 seconds from 509 to 540. Then we go to the third verse of the song, which is back to G major. I reach over and the fruit of life stands still. <whistles> bum, bum. Stand a while we search our past, we start anew. It's nine bars in 4-4 four, four time, and that's at about the 5 minute and 40 second mark. The next portion of the song, I'll, I'll just refer to it as the chorus because I don't, I don't know what else to call it. But Out in the city, running free, sands of companions, sides that be, the strength of the meeting lies with you. And then John holds that note. That's in G major also in 4-4, four, four, and it's about 14 bars. The fourth verse Stand on hills of long forgotten yesterdays. By now, all these, like, it's pretty easy to determine which are the verses and which are the intros. The intros are pretty much done. Uh, we're pretty much into the verse, chorus, refrain part of the song. After that, it's the chorus. Out of the city, running free. And then after that, this is when the song really changes. And I guess I'll refer to it to as part two. So part one is over. The second phase of the song starts from, let's call it 9 minutes and 11 seconds to 14 minutes and 39 seconds, which is about 5 minutes and 28 seconds long, part 2. The It starts with, a, after that, it's a verse. Don the cap and close your eyes, imagine all the glorious challenge. That's 28 bars with 10 bars of singing in D major, and then, you know, just a lot of noodling around. Da, 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 da. Force the bit, that. Forced a bit. It's another 28 bars, but um, more lyrics. But it's the same uh, amount of music over that 28 bars and just more singing. That's also in D major. Then there's a refrain at the end of these verses. Will we'll reach its part of the... Um, will reach its part of the 28 bars in the second verse, D major. The bridge is relayer all the dying cry before you. That starts at 10 minutes and 39 seconds, about 24 bars, then repeat. Then after that is another verse. This time it's shorter. Like a dreamer, all of our lives love the play. Uh, I love the play between the guitar and the keyboard, about 12 bars of singing. And then another verse, things are all in colors. That's about 10 bars. And then a refrain, we'll reach... Will we reach? Will we reach? I did that wrong the last time. Da, 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 da. It's about 10 bars. Okay, and then um, after that is a bridge again. Will we reach about 16 bars? And then another um, relayer. Da, 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 da. That runs from 1309, about 24 bars, and then there's a quick jam at the end of it. The jam starts at 1343. This is a solo by Rick Wakeman with a fast-moving bass underneath it, and it's an F major. That's the end of the second part of the song, is that really long jam where Rick Wakeman is leading it. 
The third part of the song is the closing. It runs from 1439 to 2038, or about 5 minutes and 59 seconds total. It comes back to the verse. Stand on hills of long forgotten yesterdays. Do, 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 do. <whistles> That's in D major, about 9 bars. And then that out in the city running free. That's around 15 minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. That's 15 bars plus a, a few bars of Wispy Soundscape at the end by Rick Wakeman. That is from 1548 to 1732. And Rick Wakeman's really doing this. <whistles> almost like a, a grand... Almost like the gates of heaven, you know, like... Uh, it comes back to the verse. Ours in trance we surely carry on. Dot 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 dot. You know that part. It starts at seventeen thirty nine, and it's an A major for six bars. And after that, we go to the outro. And I do think very well that runs from seventeen fifty eight to the end of the song, uh, twenty thirty eight. 35 bars in E major, G major, and ending in A major. My favorite part of the song is the ending where it starts. Uh, rainbows, soft light, alternate view. It's just got a really big, grand uh, ending, for lack of a better description. It's the best part of the song. I don't know how else to say it. The way the song structure is arranged, the first part is intro, verse, intro, verse, intro, intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. The second part is verse, verse, refrain, bridge, verse, verse, refrain, bridge, jam. See how that makes sense, that second part? And then the third part of the song is verse, chorus, the instrumental with Rick Wakeman, and then one final verse and an outro. That's the remembering. Probably my favorite song on the album, although if it is my favorite, you know, it's, I like them all about the same, really. Track three is The Ancient Giants Under the Sun. It's 18 minutes and 34 seconds. That makes it the shortest song on the album. And it has two parts, and that's how I'll talk about it. I had the hardest time with this song forever. And then all of a sudden, like I got it, and... Um, what I really want to do is go to a Yes concert and I want them to play the whole song. Not just the, not just the end part, but okay. Well, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, the Ancient, Giants Under the Sun. It's the, it has a lot of keys. F major, G flat major, G major, D major, B flat minor, A major, and E major. And it's moving. It's moving in between these keys. The drums are very loud on the song. And in part one, the steel guitar is cranking. And the bass part is fairly funky, jazz-inspired. At least for Yes. That's about as jazzy as Yes gets. And this is the closest Yes gets to freeform jazz. Although it's, I qualify that by saying the ancient is very heavily structured. So I wouldn't describe it. That's freeform, but that's about as freeform as they're going to be. Uh, the intro is the, the hi-hat. Dot, 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 dot. It runs through 4 minutes and 14 seconds from the beginning. And it's 32 bars in F major, 28 bars in G flat major, and then 15 bars in F major, 4-4 four, four time, and 6-4 time. It's 16 bars in D major with changing time from 6-4 to 4-4 and 3-4. If you don't believe me, you can get, you can look it up in the book. But that's how it goes. And it's just a lot of... Da, 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 bum, 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 whir, whir. It's doing all kinds of really cool things at the beginning. Um, the first verse of the song is... As one with the knowledge of the source... Da, 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 da. It's in D major, 8 bars. And then after that, there's a jam. The jam is in G major for 24 bars, and then 5 bars in B flat minor 7th. There's a bunch of extra stuff in there that isn't in the book, from 4 minutes and 38 seconds to 6.22. Uh, 
it starts as a like a synth mellotron type sound total of about a minute and then after that jam there's a chorus the chorus has a jam at the end that starts at six minutes and 22 seconds but the chorus is john anderson he's not singing he's more like chanting different ways to say sun soul dupe sun ilios neither at akin Sol, ba, ba, bum, ba, na, na, na. it's 11 bars in a major and then b flat minor seventh chord again in three bars and then it repeats itself from six minutes and 44 seconds to 12 minutes and 28 seconds about five minutes and 44 seconds total the intro style jam from 644 to 739 or about 56 seconds and then the chorus i don't even know if i can say these words Tona two, Corax, Gunas. It's from seven thirty nine to seven fifty six, or about seventeen seconds, and then another that jam. I'll call it <laughs> from seven fifty six to twelve twenty eight, or about four minutes and thirty two seconds. I just flat out yes jamming in the weirdest way that yes has ever jammed before, but I totally dig it. At 12 minutes and 28 seconds, a verse comes in. So the flowering creativity of life wove its web face to face with the shallow. And their god sought out to conquer a kin. That's the end of part one of the song. Because after that, Steve Howe goes into this acoustic thing. And that, so let's call it part two or Leaves of Green. By the way, if you if you get the um, there's a live album that they recorded in France, in the I believe in the Benoit David era. They're playing Leaves of Green, okay. So they call I think they called it Leaves of Green or excerpts from Leaves of Green, but that's an A major in four four time, and it runs from twelve fifty three to eighteen thirty four, or about five minutes and forty seconds total. This could have been a single, really. Um, the intro is that acoustic part I was talking about from 1253 to 1440, about a minute and 53 seconds. And it's Steve Howe, you know, playing and banging on his guitar. You know, do, 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 do. And then it goes into the verse. Do the leaves of green stay greener through the autumn? That's a 14 bar verse. And the chorus is, and I hear a million voices singing. Da, 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 da. That's an 18 bar chorus. The outro part of the song starts around 17 minutes. Um, after the do, 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 that whole thing that John sings. And so that's the ancient. Uh, one of the simpler songs on this album. But part one is the intro verse jam chorus jam chorus jam verse and then part two the leaves a green part it has that introduction guitar acoustic guitar part verse chorus verse chorus outro and that's the ancient giants under the sun i kind of like how in the ancient steve how is always doing this Okay, anyway, uh, track four is Ritual, No Sum Du Soleil. 21 minutes and 25 seconds. Ritual is the easiest of these four songs for me to chart and to track out the song structure. It's probably the simplest arrangement. Uh, and it's the one that, you know, when John talks about this album, he talks about they were going for a grand big idea. I think he's talking about Ritual, although it doesn't give them I don't think it gives them what they were looking for. what they were really looking for was the awaken which is a couple albums down the road but um anyway ritual is in key of d major and in also in d minor which has one flat but minor chords only um most of the song is in d major verses are in e major so yeah, most of it's D major and E major, and then mostly in four four time. Although there is some three four time, and that to me that's what makes this one the simplest, the way it the song repeats itself, and 
there are much fewer key changes and chord changes and it's mostly in the same two time signatures the intro and then the la la da 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 that part runs from um let's see it runs to 529 and it's mostly in d major and d minor and then the chorus kicks in the song starts with the intro and then the chorus which is interesting to me the chorus is beginning at 5 minutes and 29 seconds. No sum du soleil, we love when we play. Or du soleil, I guess is to make it rhyme. It's 18 bars in D major. And then the first verse picks up at 649. Open doors, we find our way, we look, we see, we smile. It's 5 bars at 2-4 two far, uh, two four time. Uh, did I say that right? It's five bars. Oh, there, there's a one. I'm sorry. There's one two four bar in there, but it's five bars in E major. The second verse, let them run, let them chase, let them hide between. It's eight bars with a three eight bar and a couple of extra bars at the end of E major. Um, e major is the key. It's the key in all these verses. Verse three is maybe I'll sing a while and then give you a call. That's five bars, also an E major. And then the fourth verse is hurry home as love is true. It will help us through the night. That's a nine bar verse. Then we come to the first bridge of the song. The bridge is very noticeable because it's catch as we look and use the passions that flow as we try and continue. We receive all the venture we give. That's the, that's the whole bridge. It's five bars plus six bars of transition or break to the fifth verse which the fifth verse of the song is 14 bars and the sixth verse these are longer so 14 bars and the sixth verse is 28 bars with a lot of at all you know how john sings at all at all at all he does it over and over that's why the sixth verse of the song is 28 bars then we come back to another bridge in between the uh, fifth and sixth verse it's five bars similar to the the previous bridge the first bridge catch as we look um, and then we have an interlude part of the song from 1108 to about the 17 minute mark so about six minutes and 52 seconds ish seems to be still in e major the best part of the song starts at the 14 minute and 13 second mark this is the uh, what i'll call the alan white part it's a lot of it's just a lot of crashing and the climax to the Alan White part is the um, it's just a big drumming demo really with uh, a bunch of clicking sounds behind it and the cool part is if you've ever seen them play Ritual live uh, I saw it in 2000 at the masterworks concert john and chris and igor all came down and started banging on drums with alan white do, 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 do. I mean, it was really just a grand ending to the tune and uh the best part of this song anyway that part ends at 17 minute mark it is a little different when they do it live than when they do it on the album it's also there's a version on yes shows and um, songs from Songus, they play Ritual. And, you know, you kind of can get the feel of how they do it. In the same way that Ancient ends with a sweet acoustic part, so does Ritual. Verse 7 is, hold me my love, hold me today, call me round. <whistles> it's really two 16-bar and 13-bar verses, but that's in D major, and that's the ending. It's just a sweet, light happy ending after this really violent Alan White drum section and then the song ends with a guitar solo outro that starts at 20 minutes and five seconds and goes to the end of the song um the song structure like I said is simple intro chorus verse 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 bridge break verse verse interlude which is the the big Alan White um, part, okay? And then the verse, chorus, that sweet verse, the chorus, and then the guitar solo is the ending of the song. And that's Ritual. 
In summary, Tales from Topographic Ocean was number 63 in 1973. It sold 672,000 copies all time. And that's good enough for number 10 for yes. ProgArchives.com gives it a 3.92, which uh, to me is too low. And AllMusic.com gives it a 3.5. That's definitely too low. Rolling Stone gave it an unfavorable ranking. That's Gordon Fletcher in March 1974. And the 2004 Rolling Stone album guide gave it four stars. See, this is a fairly controversial album. A lot of people don't like it because they think it's um, gone overboard. And I've heard the complaints. I've heard the Rick Wakeman complaints that there's too much padding and, you know, too much work being done in the studio that should have been done in rehearsal time and you know, I heard the critics, they've all, they all pan it and say it's too over the top. It's too this, it's too that. To me, this is my favorite Yes album. It's, pro it's probably my favorite album ever. Um, it's, my, it's either my 1A or 1B between and Relayer. Uh, I think I said in the rankings video for Yes albums, I had, I had Relayer 1A and um, Tails 1B. But if I wasn't being true to myself, I, this is my favorite. I'll stand by that. You can definitely tell. Like, look at the wear and tear on this. It's all, um, it's all crushed. The backside is all like warped. <laughs> I've used it a lot, and the discs are fairly scratched. I mean, I bought this one new, and it's, um, it's. It's got some of those light scratches in it, but so far it hasn't skipped on me. But yeah, I'll 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 say it's my number one. Uh, curious to think what you guys think of it. If you want to leave a comment or whatever, I'd be interested in knowing. Uh, what's next up on the channel? Uh, we're gonna do a kiss review. Yeah, that'll be next. Sorry that it took me so long to do this, but. You know, just a lot of work, and it took me a long time to get through this with these four epic songs, and uh, I wasn't quite sure how to go about it, but I think I found a way to do it. So thanks for listening, everyone. I'm out.